Yo, what's going on guys? Pickled Paradakian here and welcome back to episode 15 of our Kingdom Hearts 3 Let's Play, guys. Today is an exciting day because we are finally venturing into that of the Kingdom of Corona. Really excited for this world just because, obviously, from all of the worlds from here on in, never touch. As I was explaining in the previous part and through other previous parts, I have played parts of, of course, Toy Box and Olympus, so this is going to be a complete fresh experience. Really looking forward to this. So, uh, let's not waste any time. Let's straight up embark. Um, we're gonna go, actually no, we'll just embark from Toy Box and we will fly all the way across the other side of the galaxy. Let's do it. Now, I did say that I was gonna be doing some gummy ship stuff in the sense of, like, making our own ship at some point. I definitely still wanna do that, but I think for the time being, we will just straight away go to Kingdom of Corona. Um, and we might just, I think we might just use like one of the blueprint models here, let's, right, let's go with the, uh, the Falcon, that should be fine, and let's equip a teeny ship, Falcon teeny ship, alright, we can only have one teeny ship for the time being, uh, we've also unlocked Twin Shot, which we may as well equip, uh, we have Trinity Fire that we got obviously back in Twilight Town, but let's see what this new power can do. Okay, so we gotta fly to the other side, now, also, I have since found out, uh, due to playing on my own personal save file, that the gummy ship level uh, increases our AP costs for things like abilities, as well as the gummy ship's overall cost as well. It doesn't do stuff like increasing damage, that's all up to, obviously, your own skills by attaching new weapons and cannons and lasers. So we will definitely be focusing on trying to raise that gummy ship level. At the moment, we're only level 13. So it'll probably pay to, uh, to take down a few flunkies and get some of that succulent XP. Destroying all these space rocks. Also, the space rocks! are um, good to destroy as well because you get uh, gummy pieces, just like angle pieces, but I have noticed that you also do get synthesis materials like mithril stones as well as fluorite as well. There is a crystal over here, may as well grab that, see what we get. Uh, should also pay attention to taking down these things too, as we do get a bunch of cool items and things like blueprint fragments and all that good stuff. Alright, Kingdom of Corona is right there. Now, I'm really hoping that there's not going to be a gummy ship boss that's just going to come out of nowhere. Um, because this is a new world, I expect there to be gummy ship bosses for like each world you go to, but that might not be the case. We're about to find out anyway. There was one before we went to the toy box, but it doesn't look like there's going to be one for Kingdom of Corona. Okay. Why can't I go outside? The outside world is a dangerous place. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Man, look at those luscious locks. <laughs> Damn, dude. Ready. Those lights appear every year on my birthday. Only on my birthday. And I can't help but feel like they're... They're meant for me. I need to see them. And well, not just from my window. In person. Maybe. I have to know what wink, they wink, are. Wink, wink, and all that. Little do you know, Rapunzel. All right. Ah, again, these world logo animation things are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, the Kingdom of Corona. So hyped. So hyped. This world looks beautiful too, with all the, like, the pretty flowers and the bunny. Well, not the bunnies. I wish they were bunnies, but um, I don't know where the bunnies came from. Fluffy, heartless, more so. <laughs> The greenery. Wow, look at that. Hmm. It sure First is a pretty day. Angles? <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Damn straight, dude. You can't wait time here. Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. I complete. I completely forgot. I fucking. Oh my. I'm an idiot. This is the world where my Lucia comes out of. Oh my god. Cannot wait for this. And of course, Sora does not remember who Marley is because Chain of Memories. His memories sure got all. We were brought to this yeah, world Chain of Memories. For some good reason. <laughs> but can't we sweat it later? Fine with me. Oh. oh. 
You, you had to mention that, didn't you, Donald? Mm -hmm. You had to mention that. Yep. <laughs> there they are. Make way! Make way! Make way! Heartless! Oh, it's too good. You see, as soon as you mention them, they show up. There goes our picnic. That's just what I said. To, that sort of this. Okay. It's okay. Let's we think send alike. Guys packing. Although I don't know if that's kind of an insult to myself. <laughs> hey, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle. You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. What? What's that? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Name's Flynn. Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out. They look mad. In typical Flynn fashion. Out of here. You're soft, Flynn. You're soft. Alright, let's take on these big boys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, now, oh, dude, okay, what we should have done, and this is always and forever going to be a problem, uh, we should have equipped the favorite deputy, the Toy Story Keyblade. Yeah, at this point, it would probably be the best Keyblade for us to use, although, um, we do have both the Shooting Star and Starlight leveled up two or three times, I believe. But yeah, I think we will be using, um, favorite deputy in replacement of Hera's Origin. Um, usually I stick with, like, the Olympus or Hercules Keyblade. Um, for quite some time, but in Kingdom Hearts 3, seeing as you get it right at the start of the game, and I'm not really too fond of, uh, Counter Shield, yeah, I can't really see myself using it too much more. Alright, let's take care of these big bullies. Double arrow goats. Very nice. Now, I'd say this will probably be the world where we get arrow as well, uh, seeing as we've got a lot of these arrow-based heartless <laughs> trying to... Trying to spin us around the place with their tornado attacks. But yeah, Arrow is quite cool in this game because I've actually, well, I haven't used it, but like I've seen Donald use it and it creates like little vortexes and stuff on the ground. The cool thing about it is if you actually like walk in, not an enemy's one, because that'll most likely slap your booty, but if you walk into an Arrow, if it's yours or a party member's, uh, it sort of activates this like flow motion, you can use a flow motion attack. Um, so I think it's going to be good for that specific arrow right there. It's going to be good for that specific reason. Sort of similar to that of uh, Blizzard, how you can use flow motion with that too. Huh? Where'd Flynn go? I mean, you I did tell him to I skedaddle. Go that away. Huh? But that away is just a dead end. Yeah, that's puzzling. Hmm. I say we investigate. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, there is a big juicy chest over there with my name on it, and I already know what this is gonna be. Nice. The map. <laughs> the map. Yeah, big chests. They're too predictable. They're too predictable. All right, we got map, forest, one out of two. So it seems to be that the forest is pretty big. But my, ah, oh, this. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, once again, every world I go to, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna freak the fuck out, man. But no, look at this, I mean, the sun, the sun, the grass, I mean, the grass! The trees, the leaves falling from the trees. I mean, you could throw me into the darkest depths of, of the realm of darkness, and I'd probably still say that that place is beautiful. Like, these next-gen Kingdom Hearts visuals, <laughs> they're gorgeous, man. It's crazy to see Kingdom Hearts looking this good. Alright, we got a bay leaf. Oh, and that's right! We'll be coming across new ingredients as we go to uh, new worlds as well. What is... Got a pile of le Okay. Pile of leaves with some uh, healthy HP orbs. Always good. So we got a sneaky cave down there. I'm really liking this world theme too. Oh, cutscene. Alright. I was about to indulge in the world theme by putting uh, this, this bad boy on this air. But no, we're going to take that off. There we go. Alright. What do we got going on over here? this way. Hmm? Well, at least he got away safe, right? Oh. Hey, now Sora's gone too! Is it, is it not...
completely obvious that there is a cave behind those few vines. This way, guys. It's not like there's, there's a, a freaking wall there, dude. Yeah. We get to fully see this scene since E3 of 2015. Wow, man. Wow. Okay. Okay. I am beyond excited. Beyond excited. How you doing? The name's Flynn Ryder. How's your day going? Huh? <laughs> Who else knows my location, Flynn Ryder? All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Goes on tight. Here's the deal. I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon it. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. Damn, savage. So, what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Huh? Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Don't. Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well... I mean, we have to go easy on Rapunzel, right? I, as, as much as I want to make fun of her, left, right, and center, this is a girl that's never been outside once. So we, we, we got to handle this with... You know, respect. Tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. No, that's pure yeah, blackmail. <laughs> no can do. Unfortunately, the kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. <laughs> I am serious. Oh. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home, then you give me back my satchel? I promise. Something along those lines, yeah. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it! The three guys in the funny outfits! They look tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. Oh, okay, so... But on ah. one condition. My three sidekicks come along. He's going to use us to his advantage. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> okay. Wow, man. Oh, he just... Oh, oh. It all looks look so good. Look at that. A tower. Oh. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wow. Okay. So finally, after like all of these years, finally actually seeing this exact uh, area 
for myself in person is kind of crazy. This is one of the biggest things about the E3 2015 trailer was the reveal of uh, Tangled, the very first new Disney IP to be put into Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, obviously it was revealed alongside that of Olympus as well, but of course we know that Olympus is a returning world. Um, so it was a pretty big deal seeing this for the first time and it has changed a little bit, but for the most part, it's still looking the same. Um, in the original build of it, in the trailer, I remember making sort of like a video about this, kind of talking about this. Uh, but seeing all of like the vegetation on the side of the mountain, there was a lot more of it. So it seems to be that they've reduced the amount of like vegetation and stuff. But it's still looking really nice. Like there's a lot of bushes, there's a lot of flowers. I mean, I do think that this, this version of it is obviously looking better than the E3 2015 trailer. This has been a few things that they have removed. Um, Alright, so we got some eel. <laughs> nice. We're taking care of these uh, dandelion heartless as well. So flappy, so cute. Take care of I almost feel bad taking down these little things, but um, alright. We still haven't uh, equipped the Toy Story Keyblade. What is wrong with me? Alright, hold on. Let me let me just absolutely disintegrate these cute little things, and then then I'm gonna do that. We're not going through this whole world without using our uh, brand new Keyblade. Oh, we just got an increase in both strength and defense and air combo plus. Okay, I, I want to explore this whole area from toe to booty. That That's not quite from top to bottom, is it? Okay, are we, are we done, fellas? Is that, no, there is... Okay, boys, come back here. Hold on, we need to breathe. Come over here. Come back up the hill. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. Make them despawn. Let's equip that new Keyblade. Desperately want to use it. Don't want to miss out on anything. There is a chest over here. Boom. Grab that. What do we got? What do we got? Mask Rosette? Mask Rosette? Loving all these new items. Loving all these new items. And this Keyblade is doing some good damage. Actually, what we should do is we should definitely level this up. Alrighty, we're gonna give this... Uh, if we can, we might as well just boost this like two or three levels. We'll put all the uh, synthesis stuff we can into this blade. Sitting as at this point, this is probably our strongest Keyblade, so yep, we'll do that. And we already need one Fluorite, damn it. <laughs> Alright, one level up should be enough for the meantime. Should be enough for the meantime. Huh? <sighs> oh! Uh, you can dodge it, it won't hurt. <laughs> dim toes on on dim grass. It's so soft. Well, I'm free. I'm really free. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Flynn, good to see you in one piece. Huh? Guys, you're here and just in time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Oh, who's she? Uh, that would be Rapunzel. Something tells me this could be her first time outdoors. Give her a few minutes to get used to it. First time like ever? It. I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! You're gonna get in trouble. Mother would be so furious if she knew I disobeyed well, that's what I'm her and that's left what I'm the tower. But that's okay. I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her, right? No. Oh my oh gosh, my this would kill her. This is so fun! I am a horrible daughter. Oh my god. I'm going back. <laughs> oh, this is so good, man. Back. I am a despicable human being. Okay, we really had to give her a while. Best day ever! I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More that a lot! Yeah. Stop right there! Who are you? Oh! I told you before, my. Rapunzel, really? Re we've literally just spent what looks like the entire day together, and you're only just asking this question now. Disney princesses, man. Disney princesses. Sidekicks. 
Sidekicks? May I introduce... Uh... Oh, uh, <laughs> my name's Sora. <laughs> and I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, a Donald, Goofy's such a gentleman. Damn. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, too. I'm Rapunzel. Yep, my sidekicks. Hey. Since when is that? Look, she really wants to see the Lantern Show tomorrow. Goofy's air. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm a nice guy, so I've decided to help her. Only problem is those monsters might show up again. I can get her to the kingdom, but you guys are clearly more cut out for combat. That's huh? just real heroes. Uh-huh. And oh. we're heartless experts. Yeah, yeah. Acting as if, like, you know what Goofy's talking us. about. Okay, <laughs> okay, Flynn. Done. Let's go. Rapunzel is interested. Yeah, her heart's pulling her all kinds of ways. The outside world must seem so big and scary. I know how she feels. Lucky for me, you two came along at just the right time. And the rest has been unforgettable. Memories. Uh, uh, yep, unforgettable. Just like your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one, sir. <laughs> How though? I, I beg to differ because there's certainly been one part of your adventure that you have Come forgotten. On, Mel. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm one, curious to know if Malusha fall. actually ends up filling in Sora on his time at Castle Oblivion, whether or not he just plays with Sora, sort of uses that to his advantage. I'd say, being Malusha, he'll probably end up using that to his advantage. Okay. So those two have gone ahead and they're just kind of standing around doing their own thing. But I don't want to be doing that just yet, you know, standing around doing my own thing. I kind of want to be wandering off doing my own thing. Let's see. You're not ready, Donald? Why the fuck not? You're looking on fleek, my duck. So this way is obviously the way back to Rapunzel's tower. In fact, I thought we were going to see the lanterns. Yes, that that is currently our goal. But we're gonna go back to your tower, Rapunzel, just for a quick second. I haven't finished my exploring. I was kind of just thrown into a cutscene there before. Also, now finally seeing like how all of these areas are all connected is also really interesting as well. Um, obviously in that E3 2015 trailer, like, Sora was walking out of the, uh, cave, kind of like this, as he's doing right now, like we're doing. He's just, you know, he was slowly walking, walking, walking. But that back part there, where we came out of that cave, was just like a black wall sort of thing. It was just like a rock face, like there wasn't anything there. So yeah, now seeing it all obviously connected and stuff, man, it, it's, it's wild. It really is. Uh, now before I saw that we could actually run up this, this tower, oh yes we can. Can we go to the top? Can we? Yes, we can go to the top. <laughs> of course we can. Of course we can. Wouldn't be called parkour otherwise. But there isn't actually anything interesting at the top. Who would have figured? All right. Um. Uh, no. No, that's. Where? 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 It's the same shit every single time. One of my party members is always like, "Yo, oh, sorry." Lucky emblem, my deuce. Where? I can't see shit. Whereabouts have you guys been looking? The fuck are you guys talking about? All right, there it is. And that does it. Let's stay on track. Let's stay on track. Um, let's look a little bit around the hill area, seeing as we didn't really get to explore too much of this last time. Now, I want to go down there. I, I kind of want to go down there. Let's just go down here. It's a dead end anyway. It's the Maybe cave. This isn't such a good idea after all. Oh, big thick cave. That'd be big thick chest. Nice, we got our Camping Out, another classic Kingdom minigame. Yeah, I don't think I've missed anything. No doubt there, there's probably like one sneaky chest around here somewhere. Uh, but however though, let's push forward, seeing as I'm I sure at this point... This I'm sure at this point Rapunzel is like super impatient. Actually no, we found the sneaky chest. Here it is. Bada bing, bada boom, refocuser. I probably won't ever use the refocuser item at all. Like I never used the... Uh, Shot lock recharge item in a birth by sleep. I probably won't use refocuser throughout this playthrough as well. Um, ooh, we have a wanted poster right here of Flynn. 
that we've just kindly removed off the tree trunk for him. You're welcome. Okay, oh, I think we found Mr. Fluffy. I think we found Mr. Fluffy. Oh. Oh. Look, what is that? It's so fluffy. Huh. <laughs> oh. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Heartless. Okay. Rapunzel, take cover. I'm not. Also, I don't know if I'm going to. Uh, all right. He's he's already getting action it, within the first five minutes. I'm okay. Out of this deal. All right. What? It's way too scary out here. Let's just turn around and take. <laughs> um, I don't think I'll be sure cutting no. arrow as well. I know we got I that magic before, but um. Oh, no, come on. Unless it's like really good, then we will of course, cut it. It's okay. I'm but we'll give it a test drive. Yeah. All right, let's do it, girl. Put that head a good use. Um, all right, arrow, boom. Okay, it's uh, yeah, it's radius is really good. Now I want to try out these things can stack. Oh, okay, they got armor as well. Super cool that the uh, the heartless can actually team up with the with each other. All right, so we do that, and then we can go into it and then use slow motion attacks. Oh, and that actually activates the um, <laughs> what used to be the broken slow motion slam attack. But uh, as you guys can see, it's a little bit toned down for page three. Okay, we'll also bust out Hyper Hammer. First use of Hyper Hammer right here. Let's do it. Yeah, Hyper Hammer is a lot of fun to use. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just because it's an oversized hammer. Super good idea, though. Super good idea. And then, of course, we can take it one step further put this bad boy into Drill Punch. Now, I didn't really use this Keyblade Transformation too, too much uh, when I was playing. So excited to see what this is all about, actually. We've also got Rapunzel's team attack right there as well. I want to see what that kind of consists of. Um, oh, shouldn't, shouldn't that fun? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Tangled Twist. Seems pretty good. Oh, it seems rip Damn, okay, that's... Kind of like a uh, goofy bombarder attack, but like on steroids. I like that. This is the dodging with uh, with drill punch. You want to finish this with uh, flare force, Donald? No, there's more of them. There's more of them. I drill die. Damn. Okay. Okay. I like its shot lock. Ooh, ooh, all right. And Goofy's already got second chance. Nice. Good. Congrats, man. Rapunzel? Rapunzel! She gone, girl. She gone. Someone? Who's there? Oh, uh, yes. So good to have him back. She's so such good to a have him back. precious gift. Allow me to assist you in getting her back. What? Okay. Okay, Malush has got some crazy magical powers, so it seems. <laughs> no, but he like truly insisted to help her, as if he wasn't giving her any choice whatsoever. He's just like, yeah, let me help you. This is the way it's gonna work. <laughs> okay, oh, look at this gorgeous looking heartless. Yes, we got to see this thing in the uh, the Japanese Tangled trailer, I believe. Oh, this looks Mary Poppins inspired-ish. But super cool, super cool. Take care of these annoying arches. Oh, almost leveled up as well. You guys are getting the hammer. Just like that. You're getting the fucking hammer. You're pushing me around too much. I don't like it. Now look, I'm sorry, ladies, but... Oh, oh, oh okay. You guys aren't holding back, so why should I? Let's do Ghost Horde. See what that does. Tch, 
Well, that was cool as shit. We're on track. The sign seems to be pointing the way to the castle. Okay, we're definitely on track. That's good. We're not getting lost. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? What, what are you... <laughs> really gonna show me a dandelion? That is next generation. It really is. Wow. That that's great. You was a way to make more fly at once. You blow my mind. Well, there might actually be a way to make them all blow at once, uh, Rapunzel. Boom. What about that? Hmm? No? Did I just I was kind of just thinking logically. Um Okay, we gotta find out where the mo oh, okay, this is this is a patch. Where are the most dandelions at? Right handed. Okay, it does work. That's so cool. That's so cool. So there are like little cool unique things that uh, apparently you can do with Rapunzel. In an interview shortly before release, it was explained that sometimes she can wander off and do things on her own, which might lead to like special encounters and all that. I think this is specifically only for the Rapunzel world, although I'm curious to know if this type of thing will work with other party members in other Disney worlds. But yes, we've uh, got to keep an eye out for that because at random points there will be like little cool quirky things you can do uh, with Rapunzel, like that dandelion encounter right there. And apparently she can uh, point us towards where hidden treasures oh, might be rabbits. too, so... Rabbits? Rabbits? Bunnies? Oh, we do get bunnies in this world! I was right! We really do get bunnies! We gotta protect the bunnies? Oh! You're not picking on these rabbits. No, no way! You ain't touching these bunnies! Sean, Goof. Sean. Sean. Wipe them out. They're trying to take on our bunny friends. Mm -mm. Uh, Mary Poppins doing her umbrella goodness again. No, 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 no. Let me stop that. Let me stop that. Let me stop that. Bad Mary Poppins looking heartless thing to do. Okay, really liking Hyper Hammer though. This thing is an absolute beast. Boom. Alright. Very good. Don't worry, my bunny friends. You are safe. You are safe. Don't worry. It's safe now. Oh, they look so happy. I mean, that bunny's kind of running on a side, but that's fine. Alright, he's got skills, clearly. Now the bunny's gonna show us the way? Okay, so the rabbits went that way. Ooh, there is a mushroom on this log. Yeah, thanks for that, Goof. So yeah, the bunnies went that way. Uh, let's see what's going on down here. Uh, we've got a nice... Ooh, no. Some flunkies. Usual case. I think these dandelion heartless always have armor. Like, that how far is just armor. And then once you take that down... Then basically they've got no like massive afro dandelion head anymore and it's just a health bar. <laughs> but yeah, so it seems like some Heartless can group up and they'll get the armor health bar, but then it seems to be that like some Heartless just normally have armor health bars. Sneaky chest, boom, panacea, never use them, but always good to have. Ooh. Okay, so we can swim in this game too. That's it's another so thing. Refreshing. Let me take a dip. Let me take a dip. Are they playing in the See, water together? Feels nice. I mean, this boy grew up on an island. He does know what water is. Is it not deep enough for a dip? Yeah. It's just shallow? Okay, I'm just gonna keep following her. See if anything... Anything happens. You gonna do something special? No? You're just simply running around in the water. Over here. What is it? Hmm? <laughs> Okay, no, we have to go now though, Rapunzel. We're sort of on a time restraint here. We do have to be places, so I know the bunny's gonna go down that way, so we'll keep that way for later on. Uh, no doubt we'll probably have to go back that. Uh, but let's make our way up this hill and follow our fluffy friends. So they went this way. Um, oh no, actually, it looks like they're just gonna lead us to maybe a treasure or something. This is super cool though, little crouch down segment thing. Good on you, fellas. This. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, little guys. I appreciate that. Showing us where the dank loots are. Okay, bronze amulet. Also, I forgot to check out this item back when we got it, but yeah, we picked up a mask rosette or, or something like that. I, I probably butchered that name, but um, yeah, this looks pretty damn cool. It gives us arrow and dark resistance as well as two defense, but the ability is sneeze protection, which apparently prevents the sneeze status? Sneezing... 
is a status in this game. It totally makes sense for status effects to be like, you know, frozen or stunned or poisoned or cursed or something like that. <laughs> really sneeze? It makes me think if those uh, those dandelion heartless caused the sneeze status, but uh, I don't think we're gonna track that on. I thought I'd just talk about that because it is pretty funny. Now though, I think we're gonna give the bronze amulet to Goofy. Uh, he gets HP converter as well as one strength, one magic and seven AP. So we're gonna give him that. Okay, and we may as well head back to where we were before. I thought the bunnies were actually showing us where to go, but they were just showing us some dank loots. How kind of them. Like How the absolutely kind of them. So progressing, making our way through the ravine, through the forest. Still getting used to seeing these power wilds back in the game as well. Super strange to see them. Blin pulling off his barrel moves. Good on you, buddy. You're doing some impressive damage, man. Magic Carousel. We haven't used this since the uh, the Titan fights. So we might as well uh, use it. I just, I just pressed finish. Good on you! Okay, Corona is this way. Corona is this way. Folks, we're getting close, but first, more flunkies. These things are annoying. Yep, they can stun you now. So if they throw those acorns at you and you get hit by them, you will get stunned. I am so grateful, though, that the pink monkeys aren't in Kingdom Hearts 3. In Kingdom Hearts 1, there were both Power Wilds, and then there was also another monkey heartless variant, which was a pink monkey. And this one was really, really fast. It wouldn't attack you, but it would drop bananas all over the place. And if you slipped on a banana, you would end up dropping, like, a bunch of money. You'd have to re-pick it back up. It was so annoying. So <laughs> I'm really grateful that they didn't uh, decide to put the those pink monkeys into Kingdom Hearts 3. Ooh, oh, Malusha, nobody thing Medusa. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think this is uh, our intro to Mali. Huh? Very hyped. Very hyped. Okay, that's suspicious. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Rapunzel. Don't worry. I know to be careful around flowers now. Whatever it is, it's not normal. I'll take a look. Ratchet. Is Sora about to get bodied by a flower? <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm. Huh. We're all clear. <sighs> Just gonna pull out a scythe. <laughs> there it is. Ooh, we got that tension rising again. These guys, they're nobodies. Mother said the outside. Ooh, Never this version of tension rising. We've already heard tension rising. This sounds like an even different Rapunzel, version. Flynn, stay back. No, I want to help you fight. I know, but I'm afraid you can't hurt these guys with a frying pan. Trust me on this. Flynn, could you explain? No problem. Knowing when to flee is one of my specialties. But yet a stick works in, uh, in days. Come on, a stick works in go. days, but Bye. a frying pan doesn't. Okay. Look, All right. I want right. to stay and slug it out too, but my sidekicks have it covered. We got it. All right. We got it. Please be careful, Sora. Okay, let's see what these things are made of. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be a pain in the ass, but uh, these are of course brand new nobodies. Uh, my keyblade attack just before didn't do any damage. Maybe only magic affects them? Because we're clearly doing damage with magic. Okay, no, we're doing, we're doing damage. I don't know what that was before. Maybe he had, he had like a frame of invincibility or something, or he was pulling off a super special move. Second form S. Boom. Though it, oh, okay, so it's when they're like warping or something. I think they uh, briefly go invincible. Magic spiral, boom, boom, boom. Ouch. Nice, and we got counter slash. Okay, okay, okay. Our reprisals press X after a successful block to perform a variety of counter attacks known as reprisals. All right. Um, I don't know if we'll be doing too much of those. <laughs> You know who uses nobodies? Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't seen them. I know you're there. Come out, you has-beens. Has-beens? Now why would you say that? Because bossing around nobodies? That's the old organization. Why? Are you in the real one too? Good for you. Oh my, he's, he's my playing with him. Sora's playing with him. And yes, that is correct. 
How interesting it is to see you again, Sora. Again? You know him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like a how they play the Chain of Memories no music while this me, cutscene plays, Because I remember you exceedingly well. Although, it's those memories I'd soon erase. I don't know what you're saying! Okay. Nor should you. Nor will you ever, for that matter. Oh, nor will he ever. All right. Now, if you'll permit me, I've come to ask a favor. Favor? You have got to be kidding me! Please hear what I have to say. I'm sure you've noticed. Well, perhaps not. Even I'm confused. But you should know that maiden with you, Rapunzel, oh, okay. is the very light of this world. Rapunzel. I would see you guard her from its dark horrors. Huh? <laughs> Starting with you, right? All the organization seeks is balance. You must understand, our ultimate objective is not to clash with the light. We seek to complement it. Use that keyblade to yeah, keep the um, puzzle safe. This this is the other thing that is uh, quite interesting as well. I mean, you, you take like one glance at like Xehanort and the organization, and you're like, okay, these guys, they're always talking about darkness. They're always sending in dark beings and all that. But Malusha is exactly right. It has been explained that like the thing that the organization wants and Xehanort wants isn't like the light itself. But Xehanort has explained throughout reports and stuff that he wants to create a world using Kingdom Hearts that is comprised of the perfect equilibrium, meaning a uh, perfect balance of both light and dark. He doesn't want a world that's just shrouded in darkness, and he doesn't want a world that's just completely shrouded in light. They seek that balance, just like Malusha explained him. Um, so, you know, I'm curious as to whether or not it will be explained in the end, as to whether Xehanort's deeds are Rapunzel's really actually light. completely 128% oh. bad. Where did they go? Or um, if he has oh, like a slight bit of good in him, like a head. plot twist sort of thing. Then we'd better go find them. Okie doke. Well, guys, uh, that right there is going to uh, conclude part 15 of the Kingdom Hearts 3 Let's Play. As always, guys, it'd be super cool if you could drop a like on this episode. The support is always appreciated. However, guys, with all that being said, I'm Cynical. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day, and until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace. Hit them on a the page, you'll be coming through stains. Go dead my mouth when you suckers be bluffing. Milk crack, gaming up your bitch, though. Catch me in the back, playing Super Nintendo.